Yeah, welcome. Uh, I'm Achim Doberman. I'm the program leader of ARIES Program 2, which is called the Sustainability of Intensive Rice Systems, Rice in the Environment. Uh, and I'm also leading the ARIES Simmons Alliance project on intensive production systems in Asia, which is one component of ARIES Program 2. In Program 2, which is actually in terms of uh, the number of scientists, uh, the largest program in ERI. We have more than 30 scientists involved in this project, in this program, in many different disciplines. We deal with primarily intensive rice systems uh, that are typically fully or at least partially irrigated. There is about 80 million hectares of those in Asia. The average yield of rice in these systems is about 5.4 tons per hectare, and though they account for roughly about 75% of the global rice production. Uh, the big challenge that we have in these systems is that we need to keep increasing yields at a rate of about 1% a year to secure enough uh, cheap rice for primarily the net consumers of rice, uh, including a large number of uh, rural landless poor and uh, urban poor but at the same time also increase the productivity and the resource efficiency of many inputs to save uh, resources, conserve resources and increase the profitability and therefore income and livelihood improvement for the farmers that uh, manage irrigated rice fields. Uh, we look in program two uh, at a whole range of different strategies that all need to be applied in, a, in the same context we have a large component, particularly in Output 1 in our program, that is primarily geared towards uh, breeding. So the entire irrigated rice breeding program, both inbred breeding and hybrid rice breeding, uh, belongs uh, into this output. And our main uh, targets there are the continuous uh, uh, release or production of uh, advanced uh, inbred lines and hybrids, or particularly hybrid parent lines. Uh, to both the public and the private sector uh, and those uh, varieties and hybrids need to have uh, both uh, high yield potential and uh, a wide range of resistances to uh, abiotic and also some uh, uh, biotic and, ab and some abiotic stresses. And what you see here in the background uh, is uh, one of the major experiments for this uh, particular purpose. So we are studying here uh, a whole range of uh, management practices uh, uh, and their impact uh, on the entire global warming potential of rice systems. Uh, so we have here treatments in there that represent the conventional double cropping flooded uh, puddled rice system, but we also have uh, systems uh, that represent the future, uh, like what you see here, uh, water saving irrigation, uh, in which we keep uh, the field surface free from uh, standing water for most parts of the growing season. Yeah. Hybrid rice is uh, one of the key technologies that we see will have to contribute substantially to revitalizing the slow down, uh, slow down yield growth rates of rice in Asia. Uh, in the irrigated environments, but probably also in some of the favorable rainfed and lowland environments in the future. Uh, we have uh, uh, officially established uh, a hybrid rice research and development consortium as a unique public and private sector partnership uh, that includes uh, ERI as a convening center, uh, but also uh, nearly about 20 private sector seed companies, uh, as well as uh, NGOs uh, and a large number of public sector institutions with uh, interest and activities in hybrid rice breeding and management and uh, technology uh, promotion. Uh, so I'm uh, optimistic that the challenging goals that we have can be achieved but they will require a substantially higher level of uh, research and development investment uh, to counterbalance some of the decline that we have seen in this area uh, in the last 10 to 15 years.